for most people that have been paying attention to the downfall of Disney over the past few years, when leaked videos came out, whether it was Zoom calls, whether it was a website for Disney talking about how they wanted to champion diversity, equity, and inclusion, it wasn't all that surprising to see that leaked video of a senior vice president at Disney admitting what we've seen happening for the last several years. That if you're a white person, especially a white man, they don't want to hire you. They want to have diversity. They want to have representation. And they will actively discriminate against hiring you to be an actor, in a writer's position, any and all of the above, if you happen to be white. James O'Keefe captures Disney exec alleging discrimination against white males in casting and corporate hirings. And this thing obviously went massively fucking viral. If I re, if I, if I reload this, I want to see how many impressions this has, actually. Because... Look at that. 63.4 million views on this right here. And for good reason. I'll give you a reminder of what exactly was being said by Michael Giordano, Senior Vice President, Team Lead, 20th Television, uh, the Walt Disney Company. Certainly, there have been times where, you know, there's, 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 there's no way we're hiring a white male. Just kind of yeah. unspoken. Uh, there are times when it's spoken. But How would they say it? No way we're hiring a white male. That's what we're hiring. They say like straight to you? Yeah. or Okay. They'd be very careful how they message that to agents. According to these videotapes, Disney blatantly discriminates against whites, white men in particular. I think... Now, he also would go on to describe, you know, they had a very qualified biracial person who didn't look black enough, so they didn't get the job. It went on and on and on. Long video. But the fallout from this has been very interesting. Michael Giordano, not only did he delete his LinkedIn and basically go into hiding, but it sounds like he's been put on leave, like he's taken a leave of absence. Disney senior VP takes leave of absence after being caught saying, there's no way we're hiring a white male. And as I said, if you've been paying attention to downfall, you've been following my channel and others like it, you, you, this is not a surprise. We know that this is the way that Disney has been behaving. But for a lot of people who have not been following it that closely, who aren't aware, this is shocking because you have someone straight up admitting that they discriminate against people because of the color of their skin when hiring. And it's white people that are being discriminated against. Now, that might be fine for a lot of people out there. You know, they might be perfectly okay with that because they're getting their comeuppance. Those oppressors, they deserve it after everything we've had to go through as black people, whatever. Uh, but most people have a massive problem with anyone desiring to hire or fire somebody for a position like that based solely on their race. With that said, I'm sure Disney isn't happy about this latest development. A provocateur, I like how this is like how this is cage. A provocateur going by the name of James O'Keefe unleashed his latest undercover operation, this time targeting Disney's race-based hiring practices. The video O'Keefe published is wild, and I do feel bad for the targeted individual. O'Keefe sent over one of his spies on a mock date with Disney senior VP Michael Giordano, who can be seen on camera telling the secret female reporter, Disney purposely doesn't hire white male writers and actors solely on the basis of the color of their skin. The reporter suggests it was an unspoken agreement, but Giordano shared that it's actually been said in front of him. However, he said they're careful how they message those things to outside people like talent agents. I'm hearing that Giordano, who just deleted his LinkedIn account, and I did check it the day this dropped, he deleted his fucking account, has been told by Disney to take a leave of absence after this video came out. I'd be shocked if they don't just quietly fire him for these comments. Oh, uh, this is where they talk about the half black part, not looking black enough. This isn't surprising. Christian Toto led me to a film threat investigative report. And that is one of the great things that we talked about months ago. Film Threat did this report based off all the people from inside Disney Animation that reached out to them after the failure of Wish. They highlighted this. The D files, they went over how things changed when it came to Walt Disney Animation and Pixar. How they like white, pale, white and white and male is pale and stale, effectively, is what got out there. And they were pushing all the old guard out and bringing in people solely for their skin color, for their gender, for their sexuality. That has been the goal at Disney for a long fucking time. And is it shocking for some people to finally hear someone straight up admitting it? Yeah, it is shocking, but it's also drawing more attention to the things that Disney's been doing, the despicable shit that Disney has been doing for years. It's finally coming to light in a big way. Certainly Elon Musk helped signal boost it. 
And it sounds like the man caught on camera, Michael Giordano, leave of absence. Who knows how long he'll be around at Disney after all this. I can't imagine that he's not going to get in some type of trouble for revealing what Disney does behind closed doors to the world.